wants to be more than just the son of the father. And does that journey really start here tonight for Chris Eubank Jr.? He has dreamt of being British champion since he was 15 years of age. Challenger tonight, of course, to Nick Blackwell. It's worth reminding you of that because the way people are talking, Eubank is the prohibitive favorite, but he has to perform here tonight to make Richie his dreams come true. He does indeed, but never the showman, isn't he? He's falling in the background there, waiting for the music, a little bit frustrated, but Eubank Jr., he's focused. He's doing a bit of shadow boxing there. Well, yeah, I admire him, actually, for not going and not pursuing a world title fight, um, because he would have had to wait, Dave, for Danny Jacobs. It could have been months. And he wants to keep busy, so he's coming for the British title against Nick Blackwell. And so you've got to give him credit for that, because he could have hung on and tried to get a world title shot. But this is what it means to him to win this British title. And we could do with a bit of music, Dave, I think. A man who dances to his own tune comes into his own rhythm here. Chris Eubank Jr. on his way. What a night for him, I tell you as well. The majority of the support here is for Nick Blackwell. People fancying the underdog, people making that journey from Trowbridge and all around. They've latched on to the romantic story of Blackwell. But will it be Eubank Jr.'s night? Of course, flanked as ever by his father, Chris Senior. It's not a fluke, it's been tried. Little nod to the, the celebrities the around the ring there. And now, Chris Eubank Jr. with the pose, with the confidence. Does he have the performance to match them? The pantomime villains in the ring. And now, to make his ring walk for the third time as British middleweight champion, ladies and gentlemen from Trowbridge, Wiltshire, introducing Nick Bang Bang Blackwell! Well, Nick Blackwell has come up the hard way, unlicensed fighting, in his hometown, used to like a fight with nightclub bouncers in his teens and then fought all sorts behind closed doors. No amateur pedigree, Nick Blackwell. And he was on the verge of becoming what they call an opponent. He was matched very, very tough, very early. But that performance against John Ryder to rip the British title has thrown him towards the big time. He is the underdog, but when you talk to Nick Blackwell, he convinces you that he believes, Richie, he can win here tonight. That probably stems back from the spars they've had. They've sparred a few rounds, Blackwell and Eubank, in the past, and he really believes that he's got Eubank Jr.'s number. And when you have that confidence, Dave, then who knows? Just eyeing each other now. Tremendous stuff. But, yeah, it's a rocky story for Nick Blackwell. It really is. No amateur experience at all. He's learned the hard way, sparring all around the gyms. I've actually seen him spar Carl Frotch, I've seen Eubank spar Carl Frotch, and they both give great account of themselves. And they've learned the hard way, especially Blackwell. Well, Tyson Fury has the belt. Billy Joe Saunders, as well as being our pundit, is in the ring as well. Everyone is with Blackwell here. Eubank needs to keep his cool. There he is. The world champ leading in Nick Blackwell here. The only man to beat Chris Eubank Jr. Trying to back Nick Blackwell as the second man to do that. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This bout brought to you by Hennessy Sports and scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing.
for the British middleweight title. This bout sponsored by Maxi Nutrition, Labrooks, the SSE Arena, and the Modelling Network. Officials at ringside have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control, steward in charge, Mick Collier. Area representatives, Des Reese and Dave Wilson. Inspectors, ringside, Jeff Barrett. Gary Roberts, Brett Bowles, Myra Barrett, Edward Rose, and Tony Payton. Timekeeper on the bell for this bout is Bob Edgeworth from Bromley, and should the bout go the distance, it will be scored by our three judges ringside. They are Terry O'Connor from Birmingham, Ian John Lewis from Gillingham, and John Keane from Wellingborough. Upon the sound of the bell, the third man in the ring is the man in charge of this bout, introducing our star referee, Victor Lachlan from Paisley, Scotland. Time now then, ladies and gentlemen, to find out who will be the best of British in the middleweight division. Boxers, it's time to go to work. Ladies and gentlemen, the corners are in the ring and they are ready. The officials are ringside and they are ready. Some of the viewers joining us live and exclusive on Channel 5. And the fight fans are inside of the SSE Arena Wembley. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this party started! In the blue corner this evening is our challenger with his trainer, Ronnie Davis. His official weight for the contest, 11 stone, 5 pounds, 10 ounces. He brings to the ring a fight record of 21 victories from 22 visits, 16 inside the distance. He has one defeat on his record. He's wearing the black shorts trimmed with silver and boxes out of Brighton. Introducing the next generation, it's Chris Eubank Jr. And across the ring stands our proud champion in the red corner with his trainer, Gary Lockett. On the scales at the weigh-in, 11 stone, 5 pounds, 4 ounces. 23 visits to the ring as a professional boxer, 19 victories, 8 inside the scheduled distance, 3 defeats and 1 draw on his record. Tonight he's wearing the black shorts trim with gold. This evening, he makes the third defence of his title. Entering the ring as the reigning, defending British middleweight champion. He is the fighting pride of Trowbridge Wiltshire. It's Nick Bang Bang Blackwell. <laughs> Referee Victor Lachlan now with his final instructions to both boxers. Okay, gents, you've had your instructions in the dressing room. Remember, obey my commands at all time. Defend yourselves at all time. God bless. Touch gloves. Touch gloves. This bout scheduled for 12 three minute rounds of boxing for the British middleweight title. They didn't touch gloves. There's no love lost. This is a real grudge match. Forget about the spars, forget about the talk, and forget about the mind games. It is those two in the ring who's going to start the quicker. Eubank the favourite, Blackwell with all of that self-belief. It should be quite a night here at the SSE Arena at Wembley. They won't have to go looking for each other. Please pair Dave. Eubank working with the jab. And Blackwell will soon realise that to have success against Eubank, he's got to get close to him. He's got to close the gap down. And that's what I'm expecting from, from Blackwell early on. And Eubank jabs are going to be very important early doors. Fast and sharp. But Blackwell has got to move his head and close that gap down. 
Well, Jack Arnfield troubled Nick Blackwell with that uppercut, and Eubank is already looking for it. Who's going to blink first here? Feels like that kind of night. Eubank looking to the body in these early stages, just feeling each other out. And again, that uppercut from Eubank, left to the body was a good shot too. Blackwell just taking them, or trying to take them on the arms and the elbows, but they're... There's a couple of shots getting through. Seeing Blackwell already. He's took a few shots and now he's realising he's got to get close. It's going to warm up this one very early on. Well, Eubank caught Blackwell with the uppercut there and Blackwell stood and screamed at him. He is hyped up here, Nick Blackwell. That's a good combination, good accuracy from Eubank. Then the left from Blackwell. Blackwell has spent much of this first round on the front foot and Eubank in that corner. He needs to get away from there. And he does. With flash and flourish. Good response from Eubank there out of that corner. But two or three of those shots were certainly blocked by Blackwell. So in the gym you can see what they've been working on. Gary Lockett, he'll have done his homework. Again, he's boxed it to keep that guard nice and high as he approaches. Look, blocking the shots. It's good defensive work. And Eubank is going to have to find the quality shot through the guard and certainly doesn't want to be in that corner. It was a good response there from Nick Blackwell. It's a tight opening round and already action in this eagerly awaited British title fight. Well, let's take a look at some of the action from the opening round here, Richie. Yeah, it's a close opening round, isn't it? Good right up a cut. That may have been the difference. Well, I couldn't split him in that round. I thought it was an even round. Blackwell has had plenty to say, had a lot to say. At the end of that first round to Eubank Jr. Normally starts slowly, Nick Blackwell, but that hasn't been the case here tonight. As Eubank looks to pepper him with that jab. Probably need a tempo change from Blackwell here, Dave. Well, well, just staying at distance there, certainly suiting Eubank. Eubank's pace, see he's just teeing off with that jab. I think Blackwell's just got to look, go through the gears a little bit. They had a look at each other in the opening round. Now it's time to go to work for Blackwell. And he needs to force the pace a little bit more. We don't know the answer to the question whether they have the power to hurt each other. It'll be fascinating if either fighter lands clean here. Eubank again into this corner and Blackwell trying to pile on the pressure. Not always accurate but still good work there from Nick Blackwell as Eubank responds. Body shot there from Eubank. Blackwell trying to make himself a moving target here. Landed a couple of good jobs, Blackwell, as well, at distance. And again, look, fair play. You never really consider Blackwell as a standoff mid to long range boxer, but he's doing okay with that jab. 
Maybe that's something that uh, Eubank didn't anticipate. It's almost a mirror image of what we expected in the early stages of this. It's good measured boxing, good work from Blackwell. Just getting through here and Eubank under a little bit of pressure in this second round. Lovely right to the body, then that uppercut from Eubank. Just looking at Gary Lockett in that corner. He's urging Blackwell to come forward to use the jab. And again, he's having some success. That was a nice slip there from Eubank. It's just slipped and just sent in the left up to the body. And I think Eubank's relaxed guard. It's encouraging Blackwell to come forward. But that was better from Eubank. Blackwell pokes out his tongue at Eubank, suggesting he hasn't hurt him. Good combination from Eubank, then the left from Blackwell. Both starting to land here. Eubank avoiding the combination from Blackwell. Really good fight starting to develop here. Good from Eubank at the end of the round. Of Chris Eubank senior in the corner. And here's some of the action, Richie. Yeah, there's some good work there from Eubank across his body, but I like the jabs from Blackwell during that round. Blackwell has been on the front foot, he hasn't been intimidated, he has fought so far like the champion, but that needs to continue. And it was interesting to listen to the corners. Gary Lockett feels Eubank's tiring and he wants Blackwell to establish his own jab now. And that's exactly what he's trying to do here. Newbank trying to find a way through. Just for a moment, I think some of the crowd thought Eubank was hurt there, but he was ducking and swaying. One of the problems that Eubank's got here, Dave, is he, he throws some good combinations, but straight after he throws those combinations, then he just drops his hands, he just relaxes slightly. Watch, see as he moves away, his hands are low, and that's how he, Blackwell is returning fire after the um, exchange from Eubank. Then Blackwell, he's just trying to get him out um, on his way out. And on the ropes there, that's not a good position to be in from Eubank. Well, he's found himself in the corner, but he's also found a couple of those uppercuts there, Eubank. And he puts pressure on Blackwell again, another great uppercut. Eubank is warming to the task here in the third. We said, didn't we, that the, the Eubank uppercut could be very, very important in this contest. And there, he just demonstrated why everyone thinks that the Eubank, Eubank with this right uppercut could do some damage. He did damage against Spike O'Sullivan. Is he getting through? Is he starting to slow Nick Blackwell down? Went for the big right hook and missed by a long way there. And then the left of the body was a good shot from Eubank. And taunting and each other. Yeah, different strategy here from Blackwell. Just standing at, at range, using his jab. And again, good work from Blackwell with the jab, but a bit of blood coming from his nose. That was from definitely from that right up got. Yeah, blood from the nose of Blackwell, but he loves a scrap fighting man Nick Blackwell and he will take a lot of shifting looking for those chopping rights there <laughs> combination again though from Eubank some of them bounced off the gloves but that left got through good work there from Eubank switching the attack from body to head hooks and uppercuts going in but this is where Blackwell just needs to press he's had his is that just as an exchange there, Eubank? That was a good shot there from Blackwell, lovely jab. And then Eubank responding with the uppercut again. 
Well, he does some good work, Eubank, but then he switches off a little bit. And look at that trade there. They both landed almost at the same time. Terrific fight here at Wembley. to hear Chris Eubanks senior in the corner there saying he's trying to prove how hard he is Richie you can do what you want super combination there left up right up left up and then the right up with coming through another left up there Eubanks round so round four Nick Blackwell the champion in those black and gold trunks against Chris Eubank jr man who believes that he is going to go all the way, but he wants this title, and he's trying to grab it here at the start of the fall. The uppercut's landed, then the right, Blackwell fighting back. Well, I said to you earlier, Dave, that the first four or five rounds are going to be so important for both boxers, but in terms of Blackwell, he's got to avoid shots, he's got to move his head more. I said this earlier, Eubank's very strong early, he's very quick, and he's starting to... Catch Blackwell now with big shots. It's going to test Blackwell's chin, most certainly. He made Blackwell miss a couple of times there, Eubank. It is a ferocious atmosphere in this place and ferocious in the ring as well. Uppercut again there from Eubank. And at the moment, Eubank has been allowed to work at his pace. He lands some good combinations and then he goes for a walk, he goes for a little rest if you like. That's when Blackwell has got to jump on him. Got to force the pace. Blackwell trying to do just that here. Great right to the body there, combination to the body from Eubank. Yeah, double left hook as well from body to head. Good work, but then you see he goes for a walk, he has a little bit of a rest. That's when Blackwell has got to get up to him now and make him box and fight when he doesn't want to. Up the work rate when he goes for those walks and, and just switches off a little bit. Look at this there, standing and trading almost here. Blackwell's nose bloody. He doesn't care about that, he's faced a lot worse than that in his pre-professional days. The pace is suiting Eubank down to the ground. Blackwell has got to quicken it up a little bit. He's got to go um, through the gears and, and, and box it at a faster tempo, Blackwell. His feet are too slow. Just coming forward, look, trying to block shots, but shots are getting through. And Blackwell's face a mess as he comes forward here. Eubank so accurate. Left jab again there from Eubank. He's been more comfortable in this fourth round, Chris Eubank. But remember, Blackwell tends to come on strong the longer a fight goes on. But it's if he gets through these first few rounds, Dave, because this is going to take a lot out of him by, by taking these shots. It's going to tire him. The big punches again going in from Eubank. Eubank is so accurate. Again, the right hook, the left uppercut that time. Blackwell trying to respond here. Like a, he's a, he's a, he's a hard nut to break, so you break the trunk, the 
chunk. Retrieve on four. Take you got me? Yeah. He's brought in. It's enough. Okay. All right. Good. Brilliant moments there in the corner with Chris Eubanks Sr. Round five here then. Nick Blackwell in those black and gold trunks needs something here against Chris Eubanks Jr. There's Richie Woodall's scorecard. Got Eubank just ahead here, Richie. Yeah, I think the last couple of rounds he's just starting to take over a little bit. I think his combinations have been much better. I think um, Blackwell has been much slower with his feet and wants to trade, but he's taken too many shots. Blackwell, we know he's a tough kid, Dave, but he's got to get through these rounds without taking so many punches and then try and take Eubank into the later rounds. But he's taken too many for me. And it was fascinating in the corner from Chris Senior. He said, attack the trunk and the tree will fall. He wants it to work to the body. But as he was giving his lecture, the son turned to him and said, enough. And went out there and did his job, but he's doing his job here in the fifth with those uppercuts that are finding a way through. Against Armfield, Nick Blackwell said the uppercuts didn't hurt him. I think these ones are doing. The eye-catching shots are coming from Eubank, especially on the inside with those uppercuts. That's a bit better movement with the head from Blackwell, but he's got to do that, Dave, when he's in at close quarters, when he's in at short range, when he wants to land the big shots himself, he must then think about moving the head, either before he throws or just after. He's got to avoid them coming in. Blackwell with a chance to win that Lonsdale belt outright tonight, but it feels like a long way away. He's trying to rally here, and Eubank with a little shrug of the shoulders and the dance how can you do that with that pressure Eubank feels now that he's in control work to the body uppercut Blackwell under big pressure here Eubank Jr trying to turn it on Blackwell trying to fight his way back off the ropes and Eubank is now gesturing to Mick Hennessy and Tyson Fury ringside Eubank feels but he has this. He wants to fight here, Eubank. Yeah, and gets caught with a shot. Got a little bit too cocky and complacent there, Eubank. He's on the attack. He's Look, it's just slowed him up a little bit. That was a great shot from Blackwell. He got too overconfident and gets caught with a big punch. Now it changes. Good work from Blackwell. But before that, Eubank, that was fantastic stuff on the inside there. Blackwell coming forward now, and he caught Eubank again. Has Eubank just got overconfident here as Blackwell now starts to land? Left hook there from Blackwell. Just changed the pattern of the round, didn't it? That one shot. I think Eubank's done enough to win the round, certainly, but it was a good shot from Blackwell. Terrific action again there. Well, we could take a look at Gary Lockett and Nick Blackwell here, but some are more of the action, Richie. Yeah, tremendous stuff. Left uppercuts, right uppercuts going through from Eubank. Both it in the target, keeps him on the ropes here and just keeps the attack going. Then he gestures to someone at ringside. He's too confident at this stage and then walks onto a shot. Let's have a look. It's coming up. There it was there. Look, his, his gum shield nearly comes out. He recovers, but he got just got a little bit too complacent. Another angle here, coming forward, bang, there it was there. It definitely caught him, good shot. Corners. And as for the gesturing ringside, you can call it theatrical. You can also call it disrespectful. I guess it's up to you, sitting on your sofa. Great entertainment here, though, at the SSE Arena. Well, what that one shot has done, Dave, it's given now Blackwell the confidence. Of, look, he's up on his toes. He's trying to force the fight now, Blackwell. It's given him some glimmer of hope because he, he was just slipping away because Eubank was throwing the combinations and hitting the target. He was on top. But now it's different. It's changed. Look, the complexion of the contest changed completely. Blackwell was under massive pressure. As Eubanks clowning, just released that valve. 
Blackwell landing the right there. And Blackwell will take immense confidence from still being in there and still fighting here, Richie. And there's yep. another right from Blackwell. Yeah, just trying to catch Eubank after he's thrown that left hand now. He's throwing that, trying, trying to throw that right hand counter. And he's having some success. Eubank's got a very low left hand, a relaxed guard. And Blackwell's just found, found a way through, hasn't he? And he's forcing the issue with that right hand. Again, he's got him backed into that corner. But Blackwell has to do something to hurt Eubank to discourage it. Again, that uppercut from Eubank, that's been his punch of this fight. Yeah, it's good work as well, because he's using his left shoulder. He gets close to the left shoulder, and so he's shielding his own target area, especially his chin, and then he whips the left uppercut through on the inside. Clever work on the inside from Eubank. Again, Eubank into the corner, trying to encourage Blackwell onto it. He is playing with fire here, Eubank. Yeah, he nearly walked onto a right hand there, you know, from Blackwell wasn't too far away. Approaching the halfway stage of this, and it's been every bit as good as we thought it would be. The quick feet, the fast hands of Eubank, the heart, the fighting spirit of Blackwell, and the skill too. And that's a good position to, for Blackwell to be in there, but he's just let him off the ropes there, Eubank. Blackwell should have forced the issue. Got to think of defence as he's coming forward, got to avoid the shots. But at that pace again, that's suiting Eubank. There's that left shoulder, you see, just blocking his chin. But if Blackwell comes on strong as he tends to, if he's looking to come on strong in the second half of this fight, he is still in it. Depends how much he's got left, because those body shots, Richie, will be taking a lot out of Blackwell. Yeah, big shots downstairs. Eubank looking for the uppercut, and he can't miss with it at the moment. Closing seconds of round six. champion here defending his title against Chris Eubank. Eubank may be just ahead here, but can Blackwell find those reserves of strength he's shown us in the past? Danger shot, he's got to use the cross guard, Blackwell. Just bringing his arms across to block that uppercut. This is brutal now from Eubank, right at the start of round seven. Blood again to the nose of Blackwell. Look at this from Eubank. Landing multiple uppercuts. It's blurring hand speed. Incredible this from Eubank. Opens up on Blackwell. Trying to finish it right here. Yeah, Blackwell's got to get off the ropes, Dave. When he's on the ropes, his feet are square. And Eubank's finding the target time and again through the guard. The uppercuts the shot. He uses hooks across his body, but then that right uppercut is getting through. Even though the hands are nice and high, Eubank brings the shot through the middle. It's accurate, and look at his face now, Nick Blackwell. I think the nose might have gone here for Blackwell. That's going to make breathing difficult. They said to Blackwell in the corner ahead of this that Eubank was tiring, his legs were slowing. Blackwell had better hope that's true. Blackwell is still there, now he responds. He's got Eubank on the ropes here. Where is Blackwell finding this from? 
tremendous stuff from Blackwell, but Eubank again, look at that right up a cup. Eubank, just feeling the effects of the onslaught earlier on in the round, but now he's recovered again, he's got a second wind again in this round, he's targeting the body, big shots downstairs. Tremendous contest, Dave. Eubank is landing that uppercut at will. But Blackwell stays on the front foot. He will not buckle. They've both taken big shots, but you just feel that Eubank, they're the eye-catching punches, especially the right up at the... Look at this now from Blackwell. Yeah, good jab from Blackwell. He's trying to crawl, um, crawl away back into this contest now with that jab. And just Jerry Lockett Larry. was urging him forward as well there, Richie. It's, it's just a matter of time for you, waiting for you back then to, to throw the heavier, heavier shots. Is you back just starting to tire a little? He's used up a lot of energy, but he shakes the head and he gestures to the crowd again. So clever, you back with that left shoulder. He really is. It's a lot of accuracy in his work. A U back round for me. No, 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 listen to me now. Well, let's take a look at the highlights, Richie. It was a blurring attack from Eubank. It was a tremendous start of the round from Eubank. The shots were going in, right hooks, left hooks, working the body, left up a cut there. It's the right uppercut also. I mean, this was fast and furious at the start of the round. But Eubank really went for it. I think he went for the stoppage in this round. But there's that left shoulder, and then he uses that right uppercut through the guard. A bloody face from Blackwell. Strong, tough kid. But a Eubank round. Yeah. Do you like taking these uppercuts or what? Did you hear that? Gary Lockett. Do you like taking these uppercuts or what? I think he's telling him to move his head. Still Blackwell stares Eubank down here. And look at this, Victor Lockton has told Chris Eubank Sr. Get out of the ring. Get down off the apron. Is Blackwell going to get stronger? He has to hope that Eubank is going to slow here. Very surprised that's the day that Blackwell hasn't tried to block some of these uppercuts with that cross guard. Just bring the, the forearms across the chest and try and block that right uppercut. Too many have got through. And again with Eubank with that low left hand. Blackwell got to quicken those feet up and try and catch him with that right hand counter. But again, that with the right and then landing with the uppercut again. At Little first here from Chris Eubank. The pace again is suiting Eubank, isn't it? Just not Blackwell off balance there. Neither of these men down, remember, as a professional. But now Eubank starting to unload on the corner here. Blackwell needs to respond here. He's blocking a lot of these, but he needs to fight back. Does Eubank believe he's close to the stoppage? Going for the stoppage here, Eubank. And he has exerted a lot of energy there. And this is when Blackwell has got to try and get back at him now. This is when he's having his rest. And still Eubank was talking down there to Tyson Fury and talking to Saunders and the Blackwell team. Blackwell with that slapping left hook. Some of the Blackwell fan fans around the ring saying that Eubank's tired now. Yeah, they may have a point, like I said, he's done all his work again there. He put so much effort into that onslaught. Now he's tired. But it, takes, it doesn't take him long to recover, though, Eubank. He's a fit lad. And he made the point in the pre-fight press conference. And Ronnie Davis said he trains six days a week. He said it's seven, Davis. He is very, very fit. And Blackwell is going to test that.
slow down a little bit, hasn't he, Eubank? Yeah, the jab was just a bit slower there. He didn't double up with it. A bit of a pattern emerging, you know, Dave. He seems to start each round very, very quickly indeed. Really goes for it. Blackwell landing to the body and then to the head. Good work this from Nick Blackwell. Eubank trying to look as if he's still in control. And Chris Senior into the ring. Listen to this. From beating him like this. One, he's getting hurt. Two, if it goes to a decision, why hasn't the referee stopped the fight? I don't get why. So maybe you shouldn't leave it to the referee. But you're not going to take him out to the face. You're going to take him out to the body. Okay. All right, you're going to do. Your wife, do it your way. Okay, mate? Do it your way. Your way's working. Right. Good contrast in the corners here. Corners! Ten seconds. Gary Lockett trying to give specific Thank advice. Trying to encourage his fighter. Chris Eubank Sr. saying he was baffled that it hadn't been stopped. Dave, there's more blood than our notes, I think, than in, on the ring. A bit of blood come from the nose of Nick Blackwell onto our table. Well, we're keeping you very close to the action here on Channel 5 tonight. Certainly feels like it, it looks like it, judging from Richie and my notes. But Blackwell is still in there fighting, and that's the main thing. Not quite sure how he is. Some of the punishment he's taken, but can he try and reverse it? Can he turn the tide here? Well, it's been fought at a terrific pace, hasn't it? And uh, both these boxers tremendously fit and during a 12 rounder like this you're gonna have a, maybe a round where you just take your foot off the gas have a bit of a breather maybe this is the round we're already a minute, minute into it and not a lot has happened in this round compared to the rest Eubank was complaining that he was hit round the back of the head Victor Lockton having none of it and he has refereed this impeccably I wonder if he thought about stopping it if it even crossed his mind with that Eubank pressure in the previous round. Blackwell comes forward again, but he's not hurting Eubank. He's not really landing. No, he not, needs to do that. He's not landing with quality shots, is he? And I think Eubank's the one who's took his foot off the gas a little bit. I think Blackwell has sensed it, but he's just not catching him with the quality work. And he's behind for me in this contest, Blackwell, so... Maybe this is the round that he should be stepping it up because Eubank, I think he's um, he's having a rest round here. Blackwell has to recognise that. Try and put him under pressure. A minute to go in round nine, three to go after this. Eubank again looking for that uppercut. Don't think there can be any doubt that Blackwell is behind here. He's starting to think he needs the stoppage. Or is his corner thinking that at least? Even in this quieter round, Eubank's just doing enough, Dave, isn't he? Look, the jab's going out. Blackwell not returning fire. Not with anything of quality. Jab from Blackwell, but really good sharp jab there from Eubank. And then he tried to land the huge left hook. Oh, look at the left eye of Blackwell, though, David, swelling above his left eye. Uh, Blackwell's face is a real mess here, and I think they've earned each other's respect now. Close round again, but he's just haven't done enough work. Close round for the take, and he's knackered, he's on the back foot, and you're not putting him under pressure. Yeah. You've got to you start can hear doing the voice of Gary Lockett here. This kid Nick Blackwell's trainer. All the snaps gone over his punches, right? Yeah. This was the plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, this was the plan, to take him there now. Right, the kid's feet have slowed, his jab has slowed, his punches have slowed. He's reluctant now to tee off. Yeah. This is where you've got to come on, dig in. This is what you wanted all life, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we've been thinking about this guy for a year. 
we knew you weren't going to beat him on the outside, so you need to get closer and you need to work him over twos and threes. And then you're backing off and you're letting him. I want you to take this guy out. I don't want to go to a decision. Corners! Message pretty clear from both corners. But Gary Lockett is outstanding in the corner, Richie, there. This was the plan. Now is your time. Can Blackwell do it for him? Well, there's got the uh, scorecard there of Richie. Four rounds clear. You've got Eubank now. Yeah, I think he's starting to pull away, um, Eubank. And Blackwell most certainly needs to step on the gas here. Listen to his corner, but it's what he's taken that's going to affect that. We said, didn't we, his chin will certainly be tested tonight, and it has been, and he's come through it, but it takes a lot out of you, Dave. And now he needs to up the work right here. Eubank again has Blackwell backed up. Blackwell's the one who needs to be filing on the pressure, but he's feeling it here. Chopping right, though, from Blackwell, just discouraged Eubank enough. Look at that again, though, from Eubank. The accuracy of that uppercut. He's mixing it well to head and body as well here, Eubank. Yeah, big shots downstairs. He's trying Another to left to the body. Blackwell just waiting and looking for openings. See if he can just sneak a shot here and there. But Eubank landed at the same time there. Both tiring. Blackwell desperately trying to find something here. And he did that. Just a little chopping right again from Blackwell on the inside. Just when you, you, you think that he's wilting a little bit, Blackwell, he comes back and finds a shot. But look at the left eye now of Blackwell, it is closing here. Yeah, it's really swelling up, isn't it, above his eye. And Eubank, he senses victory, how confident he is now. Well, as Blackwell comes forward, Eubank starts to dance. Not sure it's necessary. Couple of good jabs there from Blackwell. Oh, he's now he wants to yeah. take a look at the eye here. The doctor's going to get called over, Richie. And yeah. and right, so. swelled up, and look at the swelling. Because all the people booing, but if the kid can't see, then the, you know, he's got to ask for the doctor's opinion here. That swelling is, is pretty bad, and the, and the referee's got to protect the boxer. So if that's impairing his vision, then a, a, a decision is going to have to be made. But it's good refereeing, that is. Well, the doctor has the pressure, the doctor takes a look. And he's whispering in the ear of Victor Lachlan. And it's over! It's over! Chris Eubank Jr. is the champion of Great Britain! Stopped because of a swelling above the eye of Nick Blackwell. The showman beats the yeoman. Eubank Jr. is the champion, Richie. Yeah, a tremendous uh, contest we had there, Dave. But I, I thoroughly, thoroughly agree with the referee there. He had to ask the doctors um, for, for the doctor's advice on the injury, and the doctor's literally saying, "Listen, he can't see out of it. And if he can't see out of it, the kid would have boxed on. We know he's tough. We know he's strong. But if he can't see out of the eye, then he had to stop the contest. Tremendous battle, though, that was. It really was. Nip and tuck, but Uban was just going away with it." And a very, very impressive import the performance from Eubank indeed. It was a tough fight for Chris Eubank Jr. Nick Blackwell so brave, trying to hold on to his title. But in the end, Eubank Jr., who was, we think, well ahead in the fight anyway, just had too much for Nick Blackwell. And the referee called the doctor over and uh, called an end to it. Blackwell will fight on of course and he has much in front of him but Eubank Jr too tough and too good for him here tonight and whatever the method of the result it's the right result Richie yeah I think so um, I think Eubank boxed very well indeed I think Blackwell had moments in the fight he was always in it let's face it but 
we said earlier, didn't we, it was those first few rounds where he was going to be taking a lot of shots, and he did take a lot of shots, and that's obviously built up, and the eye uh, 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 sw uh, swelled and has forced the stoppage. But who knows, Blackwell may have come on later on in the contest, that's what they'll probably say. But trust me, Dave, when you're taking big shots like that, it, it really does take a lot out of you and your engine is always going to be a question mark over whether you can finish a contest strong because you've taken those heavy blows early. But all credit to Blackwell. He would, like I said, he'd have fought on for 15 rounds with one eye, but it was the right decision. Well, Billy Joe Saunders now is talking to Eubank Jr. He didn't like... Eubank Jr. goading him during the fight, and that was unnecessary. Some of the antics he could do with putting away. Well, well, well the MC's in there somewhere. The side of the SSE Arena, I'm sure you'll agree, both the more professional boxers have delivered a fabulous bout of boxing for the last 10 rounds. Please, everybody, put your hands together and show your appreciation. Ringside, Bob Edgeworth records an official time of 2 minutes 21 seconds of round number 10, the official end of this bout. Referee Victor Lachlan has stopped the contest on the advice of the ringside doctor due to a badly damaged left eye on Nick Blackwell. Therefore, your winner and new British middleweight champion, the next generation. We talked about the tradition tonight, the marvellous fighters who have held this British middleweight title over the decades, and both tonight have done honour and justice to all that. Absolutely memorable. That's what it's for, and tonight it is in the possession of the Eubank family for the first time. But everybody here will remember what Nick Blackwell has contributed to a truly memorable British middleweight title fight. So much still to come, the thoughts of Billy Joe Saunders. It might get quite lively at ringside, I fancy. Richie Woodall will give us his big fight analysis and another big fight ahead at heavyweight. It's all about the Furies, as you're probably aware by now. And not just Tyson Fury, Huey Fury looks to continue his march against Dominic Gwynn live on Channel 5. All that's still to come.